achieve our reflections and practices. In this hour, abandoned by his eternal Father, Jesus Christ suffered such a burning fire of love as to be able to destroy all possible and imaginable sins and to inflame with his love all creatures, even from millions and millions of worlds and all the lost souls of hell, if they were not eternally obstinate in their evil. Let us enter into Jesus, and after we have penetrated into his whole interior, in his most intimate fibers, in those heartbeats of fire, in his intelligence, which was as though inflamed, let us take this love and clothe ourselves inside and out with the fire that burned Jesus. Then, coming out of him and pouring ourselves into his will, we will find there all the creatures. Let us give the love of Jesus to each one of them, and touching their hearts and minds with this love, let us try to transform them completely into love. Then, with the desires, with the heartbeats, with the thoughts of Jesus, let us form Jesus in every creature's heart. And then we will bring to him all the creatures who have Jesus in their heart, and we will place them around him, saying to him, O oh Jesus, we bring you all creatures with as many Jesuses in their hearts to give you relief and comfort. We have no other way to give relief to your love other than to bring every creature into your heart. By doing this, we will give true relief to Jesus, since the flames that burn him are such that he keeps repeating, I burn, and there is nobody who takes my love. Oh, please, give me relief. Take my love. Give me love. In order to conform to Jesus in everything, we must go back into ourselves applying these reflections to ourselves. In all that we do, can we say that there is a continuous flow of love running between us and God? Our life is a continuous flow of love that we receive from God. If we think, there is flow of love. If we work, there is a flow of love. The word is love. The heartbeat is love. We receive everything from God, but do all these actions run toward God with love? Does Jesus find in us the sweet enchantment of his love running toward him, so that, enraptured by this enchantment, he may overflow with us with more abundant love? If we have not placed the intention of running together in the love of Jesus in all that we have done, we will enter into ourselves and ask him forgiveness for causing him the loss of the sweet enchantment of his love toward us. Do we let ourselves be worked by the divine hands as the humanity of Jesus Christ let itself be worked? We must take everything that happens within ourselves, which is not seen, as a divine crafting. If we do not do so, we deny the glory to the Father, we make divine life scape, and we lose sanctity. Everything we feel within ourselves, inspirations, mortifications, graces, is nothing other than a crafting of love. And do we take those things as God wants? Do we give Jesus the freedom to work, or by taking everything in a human manner and as meaningless? Do we rather reject the divine crafting, forcing him to fold his arms? Do we abandon ourselves in his arms, as though we were dead, 
in order to receive all the blows that the Lord will dispose for our sanctification. My, my love and my all, all. May, may your love inundate me everywhere and bring, and bring all that is not yours. And may my love run always toward you to bring away all that could sadden your heart. Thank you. 